Hello ladies and gentlemen, James Wolf here and today I'm going to show you how you can create your own handwriting font. If you imagine you're handwriting but typing on the computer so you can use it in a word document or Photoshop. Here's some examples here, some nice fancy handwriting there or some handwriting that's probably more like mine. It's all possible. There's even some bold handwriting there. All you need for this is a printer. I think it's possible to take it with a smartphone, I'm not sure. It shows a little camera there but you probably find for the best results it's probably better to use a scanner. I'll try using my phone first, see what the results are like. If that doesn't work then I'll try using a scanner instead. So I'm on the website now, calligrapher.com and I've already signed in. You just it's pretty quick, you just type in your email. And um all you have to do is click start app and create a template. I've already completed my template, I've just added some punctuation and the letters I've left numbers for now. You can add different symbols and different characters if you want Japanese or Adobe Latin, modern Greek. So if you want specific characters, that's all possible. I think on the free version of Calligrapher, there's a limit. I'm not sure if it's seven. I'm on 70 now. If you look on the right hand side, I'm on 70 glyphs. But if I add, say, numbers, it will say. There are currently 80 characters, but the free version only supports 75 glyphs per font. I wonder if it's possible to select which ones you want, because you've got this and this. I'm not sure if you want both of them, really. So, if I try and find five glyphs, I'm not that worried about. So, I'm, I'm back to 75. I've got a few punctuation symbols, some numbers, and uppercase letters and lowercase letters. So now what I need to do is download my template. You can type in the name of your font here, so I'll just name it JW uh, script. JW script that would do. PDF, you probably find PDFs better quality for printing. Uh, draw helplines, yes, but so basically, get rid of this. The Helplines are to guide you so you can line up your characters so your lower cases are the same size or your uppercase the same size, all that so it's not all crooked. Characters are background, that's just a sort of guide, but then again, it might affect the quality, so I'll leave that off. I'll just leave everything on default, same with the size of template. Let's download. So here's my PDF. As you can see, all the different characters have got their own square. So this is Q-R-S-T. So all I need to do now is print. And it's just going to print right now. So our template is printed out, but before then, what we need to do is to select the right sort of pen. Get a few out here, let's try them out. So, it all depends on how bold you want your font to be. So, with a biro, generally, this is probably going to be quite thin. So, if you want like a thin font, fine sort of font, like a light font. If you want something that's a bit bolder, maybe something like this. Then this is a um, the equivalent to a sharpie pen, which isn't working very well. But you get the point; it's a lot thicker. And finally, this massive sharpie pen, very thick. So unless you want your fonts to be like a cartoon font or something, you probably don't want to be using that. So out of all the choices, I'll probably go with this one. It's a uniball. Vision Elite. I think it's quite consistent. One thing with bios is that sometimes they can go a little bit dry looking, so it's not always consistent. Another thing, to one side. Another thing is, get this pad out. My desk is quite bumpy, so I don't want to get all sort of crooked with the um, pattern on the table. So as you can see, I've got all the Characters start from exclamation point. 
don't know if you can see us on the camera. Exclamation point, all the symbols, and then goes down to A, B, C, D, and so on. And then the following page, it just carries on. So, I'll just do one on camera. The idea is pretty simple. On here, you probably can't see, but the um, lines are very faint. I'm sure my camera can't even pick this up, but you can just about see them in real life. My printer's quite dark because it's a laser printer, but it um, still the, the lines are very faint. You can just about see them in real life. So it's probably one of those things that's not going to be that do that easy to do on camera, but I can do one as an example. So this is the top line. This is where the lower cases should be, around about here, and that's the bottom line. If you go outside the box, the letter will just be cut off, so you might have some, like if you do like a G with an extra long tail, it will just uh, wander off and cut off the edge of the, the um, square. So I'll go and fill this in because this is going to be difficult to do on camera and probably not going to be that interesting. So I've done my capital letters, now I just need to do the lowercase. So I'll do the letter A. So as you can see it's up to that line instead. So I've filled in all the all the template. Done those ones. One thing I didn't do that was one thing I did do that wasn't that clever was fill in these shapes before I filled in those ones. It's better to stop to start top to bottom otherwise you end up smudging your ink. I'm not sure if I managed to smudge anything but I have to be very careful when doing these numbers up here. But I think that's all complete. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a picture of my phone and see if that works. Trying to get the edges of the template, I want it to try and be an equal distance the whole page. So now I've taken pictures of my font, now all I need to do is upload the template. So I've got my two files here, that's the front page, the first page, and then this is the second page after that. Make sure you cleared all your pages, otherwise you might have some missing symbols. So now it's processing. So I'm not sure how well these photos are going to come out, whether they're going to be blurry or something, I don't really know. I say this is my first time doing this. If you want the best quality results, it probably is better to scan, you get a more even light, and the text is probably a little bit sharper as well. So that's the results. Here are all my symbols. All I have to do now is check if I've got any that are missing. You can sing the alphabet song if you want to remember your alphabet. If there is symbols that are missing, you'll soon find out when you go to type them. So let's add all these characters to my font. There you go, so the results are actually pretty good. This is from taking a photo, so I didn't even scan these in. Edit font details, what shall I call it? Uh, I'll call it what I did with the PDF template. JW script. JW script, letter spacing 100%. I'll leave all these, everything that I'm doing, I'm leaving on default. You can always fine tune them afterwards. And next step is to build the font. Build. So you go, there's a nice example of my handwriting. So as you can see there, it does look quite spaced out. So what I'll do, I'll go back and rebuild it. Was it under font details? So letter spacing. Let's try 30. The problem is you don't want it too sp close together or you might not be able to read it. Build. So you go, that's looking a lot nicer. It's looking a bit more realistic, like how my handwriting would be. Not too spaced out. So yeah, that's, that's a good result. Up here, you can choose out of true type font or open type font. I'll choose open type. I don't think there's any noticeable difference. So there you go. There's the open type font and I think that's actually looking pretty good. So I'm in Microsoft Word to see if I can. I've got my font up here, JW script. I've got it on font size 36. I'll make it a little bit bigger. I'll try typing something. So you've got the exclamation mark as well. My name is James. That's actually looking pretty legit. I mean, you don't really know what my handwriting looks like, but trust me, that is how my handwriting looks. What about the common phrase?
the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I think that's what it is anyway. So as you can see, I'll try the numbers as well. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, all working lovely. So yeah, this is just a standard Word document and you can type whatever you want in your own handwriting. One other test, I'll go over to our favorite demo text generator. So imagine this is your Word document and it looks like you've written it yourself even though it's been typed up on the computer. So that's pretty cool, you could just type up your own document in your own handwriting. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. All I've got to say now is Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up. If you want more of this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is James Whitworth signing out.